Hello, so you want to create a rig. So what is the minimum requirement for a rig? Every rig in Roblox Studio, if you're making a rig in Roblox Studio, needs a head, a torso, and a humanoid root part. Those three are the only things that are required to make a rig. So you can only have three parts, and you can make a working NPC. Just those three parts with custom animations. Anything else, like legs, like arms, you can add infinite amount. There's no limit to that. But you have to have these three things. You have to name them. You have, it has to be in a, like, control G. It has to be in a model. And this model is the name of your NPC. It could be called Jojo or, like, anything. So let me just do a demonstration real quick. Delete the model. I'll add a part. Make sure not to anchor any of these parts, okay? So there's a part, and I will make this the humanoid root part. So let's say it's... We will just make a very simple, like, NPC-like thing. So, like, like so. And also, for rigging, you must have a plugin. This plugin right here. You can get the lit version. I remember it's uh, it's free, but I, I got the uh, not lit version because I want to support the developer since it does cost Robux to... I, I believe right now it costs money to buy before it costs just Robux. So, once you have that item, you can actually rig. So, without that, you, you can't rig. So, I guess we'll, we'll just continue. So, we need a humanoid root part. We want to press Shift D. Actually, not Shift D. Um, I mean, Control D to duplicate this part. Control D, duplicate. And then we want to make the torso a little bit larger by pressing Shift and then dragging it up like this. Okay, the torso needs to be larger than the humanoid root part. The first one, oops, Control Z. H first one here, the smaller one, we'll call this the humanoid, humanoid root part. You have to write it exactly like this, humanoid root part. These must be capital. You have to write it exactly like this. And then the torso, you have to write um, torso. Exactly like this. Also, these two needs to be in the same. Press Control J. Actually, no, I mean Control G. It needs to be in, in the same model. So the torso, the humanoid root part, and then we need a head. So what does the head do? The head is basically where to display the name of the, the NPC. You have to have a head. So we go here and we add a a part like so, and then we click on the part. We put it wherever we want. Let's say we put it here. Make it a little larger like so. And then, we will name this head. And then, to in order to activate and call this a NPC, we need to add a humanoid in here. And now this is actually an NPC. But if we play the game, right, they all fall apart like so, which is not cool. Right now, you can actually script this to move towards you and stuff. But, um... It can't since it's broken, right? It's not rigged. So in order to actually rig it, we want to click on Rigify. We click on this model over here. We select the humanoid root part. We sh press Control and we select the torso. And then we press Create Joint. Now, the torso is controlled by the humanoid root part. So you can actually move the torso. The head as well. We want to click the, the body, the torso, and we want to click the head. So the head is anchored to, to, to the torso. You press control, create joint. Joint and weld are like weld is that they, it cannot move. Joint is actually they can be it can be moved. So now this head is joint to the torso. So whenever we, we move the torso, the head will move with it. But it, the head itself can move. Like you can, if we change this point over here, like if if it's here, then if we go back out of here, we go to avatar, we click on animation editor, new animation. When we turn, this is the origin point. If we go back, click Rigify, uh, I mean, Rig Edit, we click here again, we can move this anchor point, or I mean this um, this point down here, so whenever we, mo we move, it's the point is over here. So let's just go to um, Animation Editor again, and then we move, it's right here. So this is a fully working NPC already. If we, w if we want to add any arms or legs, it's very simple. We don't have to worry about any of that. We can just go here to the model. We will just add more parts. Let's see, parts. We don't need, even need to name these parts. Um, actually, no, they need to be named something else. They, they need to be named, like, differently. They can't be all named part. They have to be named, like, like differently. Or else, 
when it rigged when it's rigged it doesn't know which part is which so you can name it whatever you want as long as these parts are named differently so we have one arm over here you know what i'll make it two two arm i'll make it two so if i press Control d there's another another part like so and i press shift i select these two parts i press Control d again and then i move it to the other side like this move it back a little bit and then these two parts I move it back a little bit and then I will make another part add part let's see that parts over here very far away but it's fine like so Okay, the leg is down, I can press Ctrl D, duplicate that, and then move it here, and we have arms and legs. Now we just need to rename these parts. We can name this arm right, I mean left, since it's my right, so it's actually their left, um, top, arm, left, bottom. By the way, you can name this whatever you want, as long as these are not all called parts. Like, they just have to be different names, and that's it. Except for the head, the humanoid root part, and the torso. These need to be named exactly like this. Other can be named whatever. This can, you can even add a wing, a, a tail, like, anything to it. You can even strap a whole house onto it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll just name this arm, arm, right, bottom, arm, right, top, leg right leg left okay well it's all named but these two these parts are not rigged so we need to go back to the plugin so edit rig select this rig we want to connect these parts like for example here i want this to be anchored by this torso so whenever the torso moves this thing moves so we first we click on this torso and then we shift click on this part, this arm, and then we press create joint. And then it'll create a joint, and then we want to move it near the, the edge over here. Or else when it moves, it's gonna, it's not good. Okay, when it moves, you want to move it over here. That's, it's more realistic like that. And then we wanna shift click, we wanna click here, we wanna just click here and then shift click here. Because whenever we want, this moves, we want this thing to move with this. So create joint, and then just move it like this over here so whenever so this part actually bends and then we do the same thing on the other side so we click here shift click here create joint move it here and move it up like so and then we we'll press here and we press shift click here create joint move it to this to the part you want to bend and then press here again shift click press here create joint move it over here press here shift click press here and then create joint move it up here and then we can have, we go to ed, animation editor, we click on this model, now we can move all these parts, like so. You can create your own custom animation now, like so, for every part, uh, so your rig is completed. Um, for maybe a future video, I can make it so this uh, model actually moves like an NPC, it just needs a bit of scripting and then it can move and then it could have like different animation play like it's completely usable right now for a game so this is how you rig a model um thank you for watching